The age of Aquarius. This is what I'm going to be explaining about in this video from astrological perspective. The matrix I perceive is real. The matrix I perceive is real. It is real and it is real. It's real and it is real. It's real and it is real. Hey creators, welcome back to my channel. If I came across this video, you will probably be interested in spirituality. In general and you might have heard of the word the age of Aquarius a lot of people in spiritual community talk about it what exactly is it though well there are 12 zodiac signs and this is based on the procession of vernal equinox so every year around March 21st the Sun enters into tropical Aries and this is when the length of day and night becomes exactly same. After the equinox, the length of day starts elongated until the summer solstice. So according to the ancient people, the vernal equinox has been regarded as the New Year's Day. And our planet is tilted at 23 and a half degree. So it kind of wobbles around. So every 2160 years or so, this axis points to a different zodiac sign and it goes counterclockwise. So for the last 2000 years or so, right now we are 2020, we follow the Gregorian calendar which is based on the birth of Jesus Christ. Well actually I'm not really sure if it's based on birth or the conception, but anyway it's based on Christianity. And that being said, um, for the last 2,000 years, we have been in the age of Pisces. We still are, but right now we are in the middle of transition into Aquarius. So the entire cycle is about 26,000 years. It's a really long period of time, especially when our average lifespan is about 80 or 90 years at this moment. So before I talk about the age of Aquarius, I would love to talk about what the age of Pisces has been. Because this is going to give a pretty good context of what is going to happen for the next 2000 years. By the way, it's pretty controversial when exactly the age of Aquarius starts though. Some astrologers claim that it has begun in 2012. Some people say that it's around 2150. I personally believe that we still have about 100 more years left because I don't think we uh, actually hit the Aquarian boundary. But definitely we are in the middle of transition though. And I'm going to explain why and what indicates this transition. So let me briefly explain what is the age of Pisces is like. So apparently, Jesus or Christianity has been the demarcation of the age of Pisces. When you look at our history, there have been a lot of religions even before Christianity, like Buddhism and Hinduism, Muslim, animism and shamanism. But Christianity is a true embodiment of Pisces. Pisces is all about unconditional love. One of the very interesting qualities of Pisces is no boundary. So basically it rules the virtual reality. It rules astral realm. It is fantasy. So basically for the last 2000 years, our humanity has been lost, literally lost. We forgot who we are. Well, being lost can be considered as negative expression of Pisces uh, on a collective level. Yes, uh, we were in the dark moments as a human species. We forgot who we were. We forgot our true worths. And we started role-playing. There were different kinds of classes in the different countries. Pisces is the very last zodiac sign and it is basically the point of dissolution. Anything in Pisces becomes pretty unclear. 
And because we lost our identity, we, I mean like our ancestors, allow themselves to be misled. And also a lot of people have been deluded. In other words, the things that we consider as hard truth is about to crumble as we enter into the age of Aquarius, which is the sign of truth, which I will explain briefly. I also want to touch on what exactly has been lost. So for those of you who are new to astrology, when you put Pisces in the first house, which is at the nine o'clock direction, the 12th sign becomes Aquarius and anything that is in the 12th house becomes elusive. It disappears it lost its quality in the physical way. So in the age of Pisces, we lost the truth. The individualistic quality has been underestimated more than ever. Aquarius also represents sustainability, the entire world. The interconnectedness of the world is symbolized by Aquarius. Since Aquarius has been in the 12th sign from Pisces, the entire world, ecosystem, socio-economic and political system has been not sustainable. There has been less emphasis on communal goal, but all these qualities are going to be recovered as we enter into the age of Aquarius. So let's talk about that. First of all, Aquarius represents technological advancement which we have been experiencing for the last few decades, the rate of development has been accelerated than ever before. Specifically, electricity is ruled by Aquarius. So uh, going forward, I would expect we are going to rely heavily on electricity. I mean, we already see that electric cars are becoming more prevalent. This is definitely one of the trends. And not only that, but cutting edge technology, rocket science, and all the progressive ideas, movements are ruled by Aquarius. What is pretty unique about this era is individualism. And it's also the sign of genius. That being said, we are going to discover some of the crazy ideas, crazy principles, or scientific truth about the world, such as quantum physics, it might be just the tip of the iceberg. So our entire paradigms will be shifted. And, uh, and then there are so many things ruled by Aquarius. Basically, the underlying essence of it is unpredictability and truth authenticities. It's also the sign of friends, friendship. So we're going to be more interconnected than ever before and we already have experienced a taste of it with the invention of social media, which is another thing represented by Aquarius. Like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and all the other major social platforms allow us to be connected wherever you are at any time. Some of the downside of Aquarius which we can experience when we operate ourselves in a lower vibration are isolation, polarization, extremism, and indifference. So, so we can be aloof to one another and anxiety mental illness would be also included. But when we are more focused on the positivity, when we raise our vibration, we're going to be awakened to the reality. We're going to see, we're going to recover our true words. And this is a time when we start realizing our true self. So overall, we're going to be a lot freer than the last 2000 years. And and people will become more individualistic. What's really interesting about this era is we're going to be free from labor. You know, the industrial revolution, automation, AI, 
artificial intelligence, all this kind of cutting edge technology driven changes are part of the transitions into the age of Aquarius. We are going to be free from labor. And it is because in the age of Aquarius, in the 12th sign, we have Capricorn. Capricorn represents work, career, status, authority figures, government, institution. So all these things represented by Capricorn are going to be kind of dissolved and will be less emphasized than before. And 12th house is basically an area that has no boundary at all like the ocean. So this can also indicate that there will be one government instead of like multiple governments like by country. So ultimately we're heading towards the world that is interconnected as one. We are becoming a true planetarian, urchin. This is going to be the first step to exploring the greater realm of the universe. We can also start having new friends like aliens from a different part of the universe. I know it may sound crazy and so far-fetched in 2020, but things can develop in a pretty expedient way because Aquarius by nature is very unpredictable and it's like a lightning. So all of a sudden, sudden changes happen and the world can be shaken crazily and then we can experience um, the time frame of no change at all. So it is a really interesting period of time. I am very excited about it. And I know a lot of people are afraid of this change because we as a human kind of have the fear of the unknown, fear of the uncertainty. But this change is inevitable. But for those of you who have strong planets in the 8th house or Scorpio, multiple planets in this house or Aquarius would be really excited about it. We can be, I am one of them, and we can be more open to this kind of changes and we can act like an agent of change as well for other people. Aquarius is a sign of friends and social connection and groups. So on a collective level, we're gonna advocate for a certain group of people, like specific gender or specific class, like economic or socioeconomic class, specific species, animals, plants, environments. So this is one of the biggest theme that is going to be playing out. We are already experiencing it. The age of Aquarius is built upon the communal goal, communal benefits. It's not for a specific individual. We are no longer playing as a victim. Oh, I forgot to mention about victims, which is a really big thing for Pisces. There have been a lot of victims of certain classes, political or business models or wars but in the age of Aquarius we are going to find the true words of each individual but not just on the personal level but in other animals and plants and minerals. Aquarius is essentially a lateral system, a system that connects all that is. So when you think of a clock like traditional clock, not the digital one. There are a lot of small parts that need to be exactly interlocked with another one. If a single speck of part is out of function, then the clock doesn't work. So it applies to our ecosystem, our society, politics, market economy, and a variety of different things. So on a collective level, in the age of Aquarius, we aim to optimize the social benefit 
rights. In the age of Pisces, there have been a lot of discrimination, like certain races have been undervalued than a mother, certain gender, certain age group has been undervalued, and others are overinflated. But we're going to find a balance, and it is the world of freedom and equality. Aquarius is also the third air sign, so we're going to be very highly intellectual, and a lot of things will be operating based off of scientific mind. Both Pisces and Aquarius love humanity, but the difference is that Pisces is coming from heart space. It's more emotional, whereas Aquarius is logical, objective. People in the age of Aquarius help people, not necessarily out of love. Not necess. I mean, of course, they are going to be loved, but it's not because of emotional attachment. People don't help each other just because they want to give themselves. Selflessly, it's not because they want to sacrifice themselves for the higher good, but it's because of efficiency. People choose to help each other because it makes more sense logically. And last note, astrology is ruled by Aquarius, so I expect that astrology will become more like a norm. Of course, there will be new discoveries in our solar system and different part of our galaxy and universe, and some kind of crazy concepts like time traveling or parallel realities, the law of attraction, all this kind of new age type concepts. Not just spiritual stuff, but technologically driven ideology will be on trend. So it's a pretty interesting era. And I would love to discuss more about it. So if you guys have any question, let me know in the comment, and and、uh, I would love to hear. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.